right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. We are on the Kingmaker quest, so if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment and a like on the video down below. Tell us what you think of it, what you think of the series, and share us on social media. So we're on a mission now, the Thane Oswald. This is to get another ally on the Alliance map. So this should be a multi-part or a multi-episode uh, run that we do here. So we gotta go find the Dane, but in the meantime we're gonna do, excuse me, like we normally do, and that's loot the hell out of the place, because we're always in more goodies, and there's some supplies. Love to get some raw materials too, but hey. Just like the Rolling Stone said, you can't always get what you want. Who's this? Well, if it isn't Eivor of the Raven Clan. How do you know me? People talk. I've heard all the rumors that Eivor the Dane is a coward, a cur, and a leech. Perhaps you can swing that wee axe on your belt, but I doubt you've much talent for speech. Oh, you want to go? You might be surprised. Let us duel. Yeah, well, I'll need a hard. wager first. Here's the silver. Now begin. I like these a lot. To all those whom I speak, they say Eivor's a clod. Then you're speaking to fools, and their knowledge is flawed. Well, not bad. They say you're a coward who runs from a fight. And they are sorely mistaken. I'm known for my might. Interesting. Suck it up, Chad. Interesting. Silent whispers all claim that you're terribly dense. Then you have clearly misheard them. My wit is immense. <laughs> oh, you looked <laughs> no, out I with didn't. that one. Well, what a surprise. Eivor of the Raven Clan is a true talent. I'm shocked. Do not believe everything you hear. Unless it touches on my flighting, then heed every word. <laughs> Take the coin. And know that only praise will henceforth cross my lips. Thank you, Chadwick. Nice. Well, we definitely needed the food. We could roll some bones, but I don't know if we're in the mood for that right now. There is a treasure. Come on, in here. I need a challenger! We got here. Shall we lock horns? Sink it faster than me. You are the winner. Uh, no, no. Uh, fear got you then. Deep in your belly. I have an iron no, I got work to do, bro. <laughs> Freaking game. I don't find that one to be much fun. I mean, I'll go through and do them all one day just for the fun of it, but I don't find them entertaining. Do I know this guy? What? What's happening? Been here? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? Oh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. 
I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? This ought to be interesting. Uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Hmm. Dane Oswald. Catch up with them, but first. Mm, such exquisite Small fletchings. Riches. Fitting feathers for a king's lane. The touch of her throne. It was blessed by a priest, as were the arrows. So it's kind of cool, you know. A lot more options now. So how do I get in? Mm, such exquisite fletchings, fitting feathers for a king slaying. Is this move? No. This moves. Wizard fletchings. How dare you touch those sacred arrows? You've desecrated a martyr's place. Why are you so passionate about these arrows? When Father James blessed the late King Edmund, he blessed that holy throne and Why all upon it. The blessing did not take. That depends on your opinion of King Edmund. I wonder. I have studied those arrows, but never dared touch them. But since you plucked them anyway, would you sell them to me? I'm willing to sell, but the King Edmund arrows might be mixed up with my own. I've the eye of an archivist, able to sort new from old. 
the kingdom's history shall be restored. Just sell them all to me. These arrows are the very same that pierced good Saint Edmund. I must study these holy relics. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll just take the rest. We'll find more arrows. That's not ever a problem. Okay. So we got that gold. Is there anything else in here? Mystery, there is also a high point. Let's go get that high point real quick. Some more good knowledge. Mystery over there. There's a lot to do here. This whole episode might just be exploring this place for the most part. distance of one of these places. Especially if it's in a city, there's no reason not to, you know? So this is at least Anglia. This is a pretty big, um, yeah, pretty big settlement here. City, I guess you'd call it. Can't wait to get to London. Oh my god, that's gonna be This work I did to climb and then climb down and all that. And here I am, I just hold down the circle button. And he's just casually going. Door locked. Okay, lady. This door looks like it's barred. Where did I see the key? This game's good. It doesn't put stuff too, too far away from where it's used. You know, I'm not going to find a key here. I have to go use it Essex. So, that's cool. I like that. To me, that's a... Sometimes these games, man, you do crap. You make you travel halfway across the map to use it. It's frustrating. Silver in almost no time. Especially when you factor in things that are worth silver that you find, you know? So, I don't know. It's, um. Did I just see another key? Mysteries, these little events, really quick, really localized, but love it. It's a great system. More games should do this. I would rather have a lot of fun with little quickies like this than these long, drawn out side missions that take you halfway across the map and you can do 50 different things. It takes like four hours to do. These are great. 
I do not think the horse can hear you. That horse can't hear anything. So how does he... Uh, how did Father do it then? The horse always comes when he summons it. Father was a good horse summon owl, half you know. And I'll ride in his stead. Okay. Easy, girl. To me, I did your... <laughs> My summoning worked. Your horse is a little unsettled, but safe. I, Asta the Great Summoner, first of the name, thank you. <laughs> Next time, summon a bridge. He would be proud of me. Wouldn't he, Skin Farley? Wait, what did I call you earlier? <laughs> Alright, well, here's another mystery over here. Let's go do this one. Maybe the horse will have a better life now. No, you little rat. Come back with my horse. Uh oh, you won't She stole the horse. I love it. That's even funny. Stop! Stop! <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Let's see what kind of little mission we got to do over here. These missions are fun. I mean, they're just endearing little quick missions. They're really cute. They're well done. And that one was so simple. But it took a minute just to say, all right, well, I'm focusing on it. What? Am I waiting for something? And then I realized that, oh, hey. What a handsome cat. Hello, friend of Freya. What's wrong? Hey, Nolly, come back, you sneak. Here, little one. Oh, hey! What you do, kid? No, stop! Oh, pig poop! Cat. You ran off again! Cats are free spirits, aloof and haughty, like the goddess Freya. I know, but ever since old Cotter died, that old sea cat has run wild, scaring the chickens and scratching me. Ah, ship's cats are good luck. Do you need help catching him? Oh, yes, please. Well, I think a properly placed arrow will settle him down. Oh, there is a silly cat. She shot more sing and deal with this. That's the cat. Oh, pig poop. Got you, little mouse spider. <laughs> It's a big cat, man. Wow. Nolly hasn't let anyone touch him since old Cutter died. But he sure loves you. Do you want to join my crew, Nolly? You would make a fine raider, I think. 
Every longship needs a brave cat for luck. And for the rats. Looks like I have another raider. Oh my god, I have a cat now. That's cool as hell. It is cool. Looks like a little, uh, little cat to hang out on. Long of a long ship. Another two skill points? Man, we're just jumping. <laughs> Jumping off in those skill points, it's great. I like the fact that you can distribute them later. I think that's just an awesome, awesome thing. Um, and I can't wait to do it, but I don't want to do it. You know, like, I don't want to. Well met. Information. I have it. Do you need it? My prices are competitive. Yes, all right. Right. Let me show you something on your map. searching around this town and gathering up goodies and mysteries and all that. We're not going to travel 500 meters away and then another 700 meters to our destination, which is ridiculous. That is not happening. Trader, though. Let's go see what this trader has to offer. Hello there. Oi. Sell some trinkets. I don't have a lot. I'm only buying these because I like you. You better like me. You like that? It could be yours. These will come in very handy. This could come in very handy. Two of these. Hope to see you again, sir. Yep, we'll run into each other again. I must take my leave. So long. Alright. Well, buying these things like that, these resources, again, it's counterintuitive to what you buy. It's a lot of you want to save up and get that great back down. Great upgrade or whatever. Fantastic set of armor and a new car, you know. It's always big, pretty, flashy things that you want to buy in these games. They and in this game, like it's just wolves, killing and burning as they went. It wasn't us. Your folk just. I built myself a home here. Ruins clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace, with land to till and home to keep, without fear of Ruid's violence. 
till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I'm king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I'm a flying troll. Up a bridge, we can't fly a troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Athens. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. So here we go on a nice long mounted uh, hike with a king, a young king, or a future king. I don't know exactly what's going on here. <clears throat> this is really neat. They slow down. Something is not quite right here. Oh, the smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. This area is off limits. Oh, she bought all my arrows, all the different kinds. Feel so good, did it, buddy? You guys slaughtered all the animals, you monsters. Their little lives. <laughs> they mean nothing to me. They're flies on shit. That should be the last of these big faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. This door is locked, but there's a key somewhere around here. Let's find that key. Did a pig eat it again? Nope, it's hidden in a box. I wonder 
there's an opal in there too, how sweet. Cool. Alright, so now we can go in. And we can see what's going on in here. Gather up some goodies, read something. else in here? Yep, there was something there. Alright, anything else around in the immediate area? 400, 500? Nope. Okay. Let's go talk to young Oswald over here. Hopefully he hasn't been set upon. Ruid's clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. Alright, so I need to attend the dinner at night. Where's my cat? There you are. Alright, let's follow the road and go to the quest objective. See you later, kid. We're not too far off. That's not bad. We've been able to um, steadily upgrade our uh, A health equipment. scene in town. As Oswald has done well for himself. You know, we're constantly upgrading the piece here, the piece there, and slowly making it better. Look there. A lone Dane. Can't trust that. Shh. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. You can trust me to kick 100% of your ass. Alright, we got a little treasure in here. Let's see what we've got. Don't mind me. Just coming in, checking the little boxes. People are amazingly, uh... Solo, solo move, solo move. <laughs> I guess it's nighttime, huh? Close enough. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, the the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. Right. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. So that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. And between the pair of you... I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? <laughs> Please stop this! You heard me. 
at all? I hope so. That's it. Let's do it, bro. Sikoldos, blessed. Limp, weak, Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. There you go, just find a nice spot in the longhouse. How cool is that? What a life. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. There's another level. We got four points to dump now. So as you see, the leveling is just fast. I mean, we're at level power level 84 now, right? And, um, you know, we've just been popping left and right, going, you know, getting new, um, new skill points constantly. So we're going to work our way toward that one. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Six. All right, so we need this way of the bear and melee damage, and we'll get critical damage, stun, and then that passive heal, which will be nice. All right, we got to speak to Oswald now. Imagine he's inside. Oh, no, nope, he's not. He's that way. Okay. Oh, wait, we still have two more to go. Forgot about that. Crap. So, yeah, next time we pop a level, we're getting that. Let's get that critical and get that stun. Alright. All right, Oswald, where are you? All right, Oswald, where are you, buddy? You just left your range, okay. Mm. 
Okay, where the hell is Oswald? <laughs> See how fast we're making this over, though? Good morning, oh, upright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. We got a lot of work to do with this kid. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. You're a king, bro. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. Here's bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. <laughs> I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> <laughs> He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... The plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. How long does this go on? When you crawl from the womb, you are ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. <laughs> Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> it's too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. 
hold on. This is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Sea Hench. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Quest objective, that's crazy. You gotta fight to the death now? Hey! Watch out, you dumb eater! The longer the throne sits empty, the bold. Alright, well, here we go. It's a long ride, alright, there we go. Now he speeds up. That's good. Well, let's keep on trucking here. Yeah, you better run. Alright, good. We're getting close. Oh, that little island? Is that what it is? Oh, we gotta kill some of these guys. Sorry, seals, I know that's gross and cruel and all that, but... Picking up some seal parts is nice. You made it. Now toss him with care. And go easy on our future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. Kings are made, not born, Finian. So let us see what we can make of Oswald. <sighs> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing a square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now, but I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed? Just do your best, I'll be fine. Ah! We'll forge your king out of you yet. Don't hold back. Fight him. You felt that one. I'm still here. Ah! Oh, was that too hard? It was a good strike. Keep going. You expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm. I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. You never did so much this way. Is this? Yes, and I'll, I'll prove it. Come on, fight! Watch this reckless poor kid. Finish this, Eivor! It pains me to watch! <laughs> Stay down, kid. Eivor is the victor. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. Oh. 
I will... I will not stay down! Oh, you fought nice. bravely. Not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have. Even if you have to get dirty. Even if you must break the rules. Because there are no rules. Not if you answer challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. Awesome. All right, well, we are hey, going Lord. to... I expect your longship crew could help with this attack. Oh, we'll definitely bring those guys along. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As always, I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below and a like on the video and share us on social media. That was a fun mission. I was like, wait a minute, what the hell? We're going to have to kill this kid? Or what, what are we going to do here? But it was just a different type of test, a test of his resolve, so... That's kind of cool. Well, now we're going to head down the road. And we're down the river. And take this camp. And we're going to have the young king help us out with it. And teach him to be a man. Oh, there he is. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time in Valhalla.